so you want to be a pro pharah? If you follow this simple trick, you're gonna be really good. Wow. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can warm up before a competitive game. It's a really simple trick. You can combine this with your normal practice on bots. It does help your aim a lot and I'm not gonna waste any more time. So how do you do it? So what you want to do is make sure that you are moving your cursor around so you are getting a little bit confused but at the same time you still remember where the enemy or the bots are and remember where the, you saw them last time and even though you're moving your mouse you kind of know how you should move and where they should be you can kind of predict it now it might be difficult to see exactly what's going on since the PS and refresh rate it's kind of laggy on this video it's not as smooth as when you do it in the game but you can see that you kind of know where they are so even if you're you know moving your cursor and you're all over the place you can still uh, hit the targets another thing that I want to say lastly it's really important if you want to try this practice you need to have very high sensitivity I'm now going to show you what I use. So I have 3200 dpi on my gaming mouse, 8 sensitivity and in Windows I have uh, the middle and so my e dpi is 25600 and the reason for that is so I can move my mouse really quickly and I'm gonna show you why high sensitivity is really good when you play Farah. As you can see here, I have high sensitivity, so I can do quick movements in a fight and turn 180 degrees if I need to, just by moving my hand uh, 5 or 10 centimeters. If you have low sensitivity, the time it will take for your hand to move 180 degrees in the game will be a couple of seconds, and by that time you, you might be dead already. So that's that video, I hope you found it helpful.